Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solution Specialist for Avid. In this video, we're going to go over the setting up and using the S6 monitor section with Xmon. You should have already made the physical connections to Xmon. Please refer to the Xmon guide for setting this up. Connecting Xmon to S6 is an easy process. First, launch the Xmon software and assign the supplied MIDI interface to the software. On a Mac, this is done by right-clicking on the icon in the dock and choosing the appropriate interface from the list. On a PC, right-click on the icon from the device tray to make the assignment. Make sure that the Xmon application is focused on the host workstation. Now on the S6, make sure you have the correct workstation attention and the monitor section of the master module should light up. Press the top setup button in the monitoring section to lock the Xmon app to the surface. You should be able to switch over to other applications and even other workstations and still have access to all the monitoring controls of Xmon. Now that we've made the connection between S6 and Xmon, let's look at some of the controls in the monitor section of the master module. At the bottom of this section, you have an encoder for your speaker level control as well as switches that dim and cut the signal. You can also cut the speaker output by pressing the encoder. Next to the encoder are the three switches that let you choose main, alt, or many speaker outputs. Each has an independent level control. Right above this encoder is an OLED display showing current monitor source selection and level. The monitor insert function switch is not operational with Xmon. Above this section is the top back switch and top back mic level encoder. Pressing the switch quickly will latch it on or off. If you press and hold the switch for longer than a second and a half, it is a momentary function. The top area of the monitoring section is the cues area. You have switches for the first two cue controls from Xmon, the Xmon cable headphone output, and the studio loudspeaker output. To the right is an encoder for setting the level of what cue out is selected, as well as an OLED display showing the currently selected source and level. The comm switch is not operational with Xmon. The two setup switches at the bottom section will take you to the monitoring section on the master module touchscreen. You can also get there by pressing the monitoring switch at the bottom of the screen from the home page. From the top of the monitoring screen, you can turn any of the Xmon sources on or off. The middle section of the screen lets you choose the different Q monitoring outputs and make assignments to them, as well as gaining access to monitor C, D, and E sections of Xmon, Qs 1, 2, and 3. Monitor A and B can be freely assigned any of the sources to those outputs, main monitor input, Xmon Q sources 1, 2, or 3, as well as top back mics. Monitor C and D, E can only be assigned the respective Q source or fed from the main monitor input, as well as top back mics. There is level control of the four monitor outs from the encoders on the left side of the screen. Monitor D can be switched to monitor E if desired. On the right side of the screen, you can set levels for dim, top back, and the selected monitor speaker out. At the bottom of the screen, you can turn any of the speakers of the selected monitor output on or off. You can also select mono output as well. Xmon is a comprehensive and excellent sounding analog monitoring solution for S6 that gives you access to many sources, multiple speaker outputs, and several cue outs as well as top back functionality. There are also other options for more comprehensive S6 digital monitoring solutions, such as Avid Studio Monitor Pro. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.